Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dignified TW and we are back with another video and as you guys can see We've got prime Dwayne Wade. Now, I know the first thing you guys are gonna be saying Oh, you know Dwayne Wade wasn't number four. He's number three. Look, I understand the guy's account that I was playing on could not get number three, but we got last name D Wade. I know he's number three, but guys, if this ruins the video for you, man, I don't know what to tell you. I tried my hardest on this build, guys. It was a whole lot harder than you think. I'll tell you guys a few things that ended up going on with the build, but today we've got Prime Dwayne Wade. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the build itself. It is a two-way slashing playmaker. Now, you guys know Dwayne Wade was a great two-way player in his prime. He could finish, he could shoot a little bit, he could dunk and do all that kind of stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the stats, guys. You can see the finishing is insane, especially for not a finishing primary type of build. 92 driving dunk. He only shot around 29% from three. So a 72 three ball is actually pretty good for this build. A 91 ball handle so we can speed boost with ease. And we have elite defense. Real quickly, I'm gonna show you guys all the badges that I did use. We got consistent finisher, contact finisher, fancy footwork, and slithery finisher. The shooting badges, of course, we went with the big three, green machine, quick draw, and range extender. And then this is the playmaking. You can kind of mess around with this as you want. I want a space creator, see if I could break any ankles. I probably should have put this on Hall of Fame so I could stun more people with my behind the back. And then we got 18 defensive badges, so you guys know what we went with right here. Rim protector, rebound chaser, pig dodger. You know, pig dodger really isn't that good, so you could even take that off and put some of these Hall of Fame if you would like, or even pickpocket. Whatever you want, that's why I'm just showing you guys this is what I used in the gameplays. Now, here are the couple things I was talking about with the build. You guys can see the bottom right right here. It says we have Gym Rat, so I should have the extra Gatorade boost. But however, when you guys are watching the gameplay, you'll notice that it's not the case. And then when I hop in here to see if I could do any of the drills, it says that I have them all complete. I check my little workout checklist. And it says I have none of them. So basically, I'm out of luck. I did not have any Gatorade boost. This guy didn't have a lot of VC either. So we only spent a little bit on just a regular boost and getting Gatorade. So it was a lot tougher than it looked. And you guys know after patch 9 or patch 8, it started messing with your jump shot animations. So every single time, I had to change my jump shot. But it never stuck. And I'm pretty sure, and it's still on here, it gave me jump shot 63 every single time. So you guys will notice that in the gameplay. I was shooting without a meter using jump shot 63 with no boost i'm making a lot of excuses but guys the build is super fun if you want to see more of this build let me know down below in the comment section but without further ado we're going to head right into the prime Dwayne wade gameplay all right guys so we're finally back at the park and as you can see we are on the two-way slashing playmaker now this build is 6'5 i don't know if i mentioned that before but he has 99 speed 99 acceleration and 99 vertical so this guy can dunk he can dribble he can finish around the rim with layups and he, like i said this build plays exactly like a prime Dwayne wade now comment down below right now what is your favorite Dwayne wade moment i know a lot of you guys are going to say the verjal dunk because that's one of his famous you know clips but try to name something else. Let me know again what you think about Dwayne Wade. In my opinion, I think he is the third best shooting guard of all time. Of course, I got Michael Jordan at number one, Kobe Bryant at number two, and I got Dwayne Wade over Allen Iverson at number three. Now, you could go and argue either way. I honestly think Dwayne Wade's the better player, not just because of all his championships, but he was just more well-rounded than AI. You know, AI was so short, he really couldn't do too many things defensively. But Dwayne Wade was a beast man he ended up winning a scoring title he had three championships he's on the all defensive players for like three years so the guy was definitely a great you know two-way player especially in his prime and he could pretty much do it all so you guys can see this gameplay right here we were actually down nine to four but just like Dwayne Wade in 06 when they won that championship I had to be the best player on my team I still had to get people involved I just had to be a little bit smarter and be more aggressive that's the thing with this Dwayne Wade build you can do so much you can get caught up in trying to drive and dunk and all that kind of stuff like that but with this build if you guys watched La Monster when he was going against Ticino this is the exact same build that he has so you can actually dribble you can shoot and when you get green machine going you can definitely hit pretty consistently and I will show you guys me shooting threes a little bit later in the gameplay but you can see we brought our way back into this game it's 11 to 10 I'm basically running with three lockdowns uh, this build in my opinion is like a speed boosting lock we got Aqui on a lockdown and Ryan he is EU and his builds only six seven it says a playmaking glass cleaner but it really is only six seven so it's been, it's kind of tough running out here especially when I don't know how to dribble that well but like I said guys I've been using jump shot 63 in these gameplays for some reason I try to switch to 98 I did everything like I said I tried to buy it from the jump shot creator and put it back in and it just kept putting on jump shot 63 for some reason but we were down nine to four and you can see we're back up 15 to 11. 
like I said, guys, Dwayne Wade, great two-way player. That's what's the most fun about this build is you don't have to have like a lockdown to guard ball. I like guarding ball just because I think I'm a pretty good defensive player. But look at that block by Aqui. That's a, that was on a big man too. So you know we had to finish the clip. I was gonna dot him, but I wanted to finish it myself. The center every single time wanted to sit in the paint. But with fancy footwork, guys, and slithery finisher, you're actually able to finish around the rim very consistently. You can see that was wide open after the fancy footwork Euro step. And you can see we even have slashing takeover on this build, which makes it a whole lot of fun. Now, I was making a 6-3 version of this build for a Russell Westbrook, and I still am. And that's basically my Derrick Rose build that I've already uploaded. I'm going to finish that up. Hopefully, I can bring that out for you guys because that build's a lot of fun, too, as well. It's basically this build, but look at this clip, guys. Oh, my. It's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. Yes, man. It's, this is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. It took away my Anderson Varejo Doug right there. But like I said, look at that clip again. Go watch that. He literally blocked that on his way down. But you can see we're shooting big whites, range extender on gold. Like I said, gold range extender, gold quick draw, gold green machine. Really only three badges that you need. And this is what I'm talking about being a two-way player. I can guard ball. I can switch. My lockdown's already able to guard somebody. We can easily switch that matchup and not lose anything defensively. But this is the second game right here. Again, you can see they have a big and our they actually got two bigs, and our biggest player is only six seven. So we know we have to play smart now this build guys. I'm telling you man The dribbling is great and another great thing about this is the passing That's something that my scoring machine can't do although it can shoot you know lights out every single time my scoring machine It feels like I like throw passes super late But you can see the thousand IQ play right here catching the logs I knew I was gonna be able to go up kick it out to Ryan and he's able to splash it But since my scoring machine can't really pass like that this build can play defense like my scoring machine can't and it can throw dots very consistently you can see again in with a 99 speed and downhill on Hall of Fame, if you get a rebound and you're going coast to coast, there is no chance somebody's going to be able to catch up with you because you're literally 99 speed. And you can see again, I'm not the best dribbler in the world, but I am trying to ISO out here for you guys. If you do enjoy the threes gameplays, you know, as well, let me know in the comment section. I know I've been doing a lot of these NBA player videos. Um, it's just a lot of fun for me, and I know you guys seem to enjoy it as well. I know you guys like to watch some of the more what I actually use their signature animations. So comment down below any NBA players you guys actually want to see me use usually if I'm running a big I'll try to play on the two so I can get more touches but if you guys want to see more twos game plays even on the guards let me know in the comment section I think you guys might I kind of do in threes it kind of spices it up it's, you know it's not just all heavily on the twos but I will play twos if you guys want to see it so you can see we're just out here dominating I almost turned the ball over 15 to 2 and this these guys are actually pretty decent as well you can see the quick behind the bag is so overpowered this year guys and then you don't know how to do that move I'm telling you, that's one move you need to learn. If you can use it around screens and you actually play with IQ, that's going to win you a ton of games. But again, like I said, guys, the thing about Dwayne Wade, I like to, I don't know, a lot of people don't know about Dwayne Wade just because they didn't watch him instead of the big three, like I said. But Dwayne Wade winning scoring titles in 2005 to like 2007 i looked it up he actually had the top selling jersey in the nba from 05 to 07 that's insane and people just seem to forget about him i know towards the end of his career he kind of sizzled out a little bit because of injuries and you know he's kind of not the main reason but he's another reason kind of why the big three split up because he was always hurt he wasn't really the prime d wade explosive player that he used to be but the guy was a dominant beast in you know his prime so we have to give him our respects you can see 12 points right there getting some contact dunks you know speed boosting out here a little bit i still ain't doing my thing that's the one thing i've been doing guys on 2k20 that's actually been keeping it kind of lit for me in a sense i haven't really dribbled that much in prior 2ks i kind of wait till the end of the year to start dribbling but this year i try to pick up on it a little bit earlier i don't really practice dribbling in my court too often so a lot of these moves are just me practicing on the threes court which might not be the smartest but you can see a nice little clip right there it might be a little bit of over dribble but you know we're still able to do our thing with a little sidestep got a little bit of gatorade left in us and we're gonna get an easy layup five to two we're just isolating the whole entire time hopefully my guys can hit in the corner a lot of these guys want to come out and switch when you do this just because they don't think you're going to be able to shoot and you can see right there i'm already hesitant i knew i had my jump shot six to three on again so i'm going to do one quick move 
hop right into the basket let me know any jump shots that you guys have been using i know you guys have been asking for one of my jump shots that i've been using a lot on my scoring machine and on my sharpshooter and on like a pretty much a majority of my builds i will be dropping that jump shot video later this week for you guys so stay tuned if you need a very good jump shot on all of the builds i'm trying to get gameplay on like all my builds with like different three-point ratings and different quick draws for you guys just to show you how good it is i know a lot of you guys kind of just look for the jump shot and then you're on your way but i wanted to show you guys a little bit more proof how the jump shot actually is really good but you can see that the score guys 12 to 14 to 5 look at that contact dunk on two people that's actually insane the funny thing about this gameplay i'm about to show you we're up by like i think we actually go up by like 19 to 7 and then you'll see the score afterwards but this guy's just letting me shoot if i actually had my jump shot i wouldn't be you know hesitant to shoot but again i've started a time a little bit better like i said when you get green machine activated you're gonna be able to hit pretty much all your threes even with a 72 three ball and again just quick little you know sidestep and we're gonna get the easy layup but like i said it was 19 to 7 and we started to mess around we could have easily lost that game i don't know how that wasn't a block but we'll take it and we end up winning guys but thank you for all the support again let me know any nba players you guys would like to see in the future but it's been dignified and i'm out peace